Welcome to Electra Online, and here's example number 11 on how to do integration using the method of substitution. And this particular one, this problem, as simple as it seems, is actually quite a complicated problem to do, and a very good example of sometimes it's not so straightforward to use the method of substitution. But you can indeed integrate this going to the right algebraic steps. So let's start. We're going to let u equal the denominator the square root of x minus 1. And instead of writing the square root, let's just use the exponent. So we're going to let u equal x to the 1 half minus 1. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to solve this for x to the 1 half. So x to the 1 half, and I write 2 when I say 1 half, so x to the 1 half is equal to u plus 1 by moving the 1 over to the other side and um, moving the equation around. And then, of course, we also need to solve for dx. So if u is equal to this, then we can say du dx is equal to 1 half x to the minus 1 half power, which means that this is equal to 1 half times 1 over x to the 1 half power, which means that du is equal to 1 over 2x to the 1 half times dx, or dx can be written as 2x to the 1 half power du. So we're going to substitute this and this back in the original integral. Right? Let's do that. So this is equal to the integral of x plus 1 over u. And instead of dx, we can write 2x to the 1 half du. All right, we still have a ways to go because I'm trying to just only have u as an integral and have an x plus 1 here and a 2x to the 1 half power. But notice what I just did. I wrote x to the 1 half equals u plus 1. So we can actually substitute x to the 1 half power by u plus 1 and take the 2 and move it outside the integral sign. So this is equal to 2 times the integral of x plus 1 divided by u. And then instead of x to the 1 half, I can write u plus 1 du. All right, that at least puts us one step closer to being able to integrate this. But I still have the x plus 1 there. I need to get rid of that somehow. So if x to 1 half is u plus 1, then if I square both sides, I can then replace x by something in terms of u. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to square both sides, and that means x is equal to u plus 1 quantity squared, and substitute that in for x over here. So what do we get now? Well, this is equal to 2 times the integral of u plus 1 quantity squared plus 1 multiply times u plus 1 and divided by u times du. And now what we have to do here is we probably are going to have to multiply all this out and simplify it algebraically. So let's do that. Let's first multiply this out. So this is equal to 2 times the integral of u squared plus 2u plus 1 plus 1. Don't forget the plus 1 here. And that multiplied times u plus 1 divided by u times du. Okay, next step would be to go ahead and combine this two and then multiply this times that. So let's do that over here. So we have the integral and the two is still outside integral sign. So we have u squared plus 2u plus 2 multiplied times u plus 1 and the whole thing divided by u times du. And multiplying out what's in the numerator there, that's equal to 2 times the integral sign, uh, u cubed plus 2u squared plus 2u. And then multiply the 1 times all of these, that would be plus u squared plus 2u plus 2, all divided by u, du. And now we will combine like terms. So this is equal to 2 times the integral sign, u cubed plus a 2u squared plus u squared is 3u squared. A 2u plus a 2u is plus 4u, plus 2, all divided by u, du. And finally, we can divide the u into the numerator. Wow, this is a lot of work, isn't it? But just stay with it. So this is equal to 2 times the integral of u uh, squared plus 3u to the first power, plus 4, because the u's cancel out, plus 2 over u, du. And now we can go ahead and integrate. And of course, I need parentheses now, otherwise the du doesn't um, apply to all of the terms. So now we're ready to integrate. So this becomes 2 times 
u squared is u cubed over 3 plus 3u, that becomes 3u squared over 2, plus 4u, plus 2 times, and that's 1 over u du, and of course 1 over u du is a natural log of u, so that's a natural log of u, and of course we still need a constant of integration, like that, and then don't forget we have the 2 here that needs to be multiplied through with everything, and then we can substitute every u back in for what u is equal to, which is this quantity right here, so this becomes 2 thirds, times, instead of u cubed, we write x to the 1 half minus 1 cubed plus, the 2's here cancel out, so we're left with a 3 u squared, and u is x to the 1 half minus 1, and that's squared, plus 2 times 4 gives me 8, and u is equal to x to the 1 half minus 1, plus 2 times the natural log of u, and u of course is x to the 1 half minus 1, and then finally plus a constant of integration. And believe it or not, that is the correct answer for this particular integral. So, notice that it's not always simple and straightforward, but this is really the only way to do this problem, is to go ahead and first substitute in for the denominator what uh, this is equal to in terms of u, find the du dx, and eventually dx in terms of du, and it turns out that it does not simplify enough for us. So now we have to get rid of the x plus 1 here, and we have to get rid of the x to the 1 half. So we use this here to then come up with a form where we can substitute for x to the 1 half in terms of u, which is right here. And then, of course, this, by squaring both sides, we can then have x substitute by u plus 1 quantity squared, then multiply everything out, divide it by u, and you can then go ahead and integrate. So not a straightforward method, but at least it helps you find a way to integrate it. Sometimes integrals can be quite complicated to figure out, but it does work if you stay with it long enough. All right, very good example.